to everybody who's the prettiest girl in the world. Yay! She used to hold her mother's hand one side and my hand on the other side and walk into the school. She's at that fun age, she's what, 11 now? Or she's just about to become a teenager. So therefore, dad is um, embarrassing. Like, dad! Uh, compared to earlier, we are spending a lot less time together and I would like to spend more time with her. She's off for work, I'm off for my work. So it's only in between when both of us are free that we have time. I'd like to drink with my dad. Maybe smoke something illegal. <laughs> Love to travel with him. Why haven't I done it yet? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know why I haven't done it yet. I wish I could have said more often that I want to hug you and I love you. Uh, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm Kanika Patra, the crazy and insane conceptualizer behind Project Papa the film. The movie is essentially an English Hindi feature length film that is a light, fun, uplifting story about a father and a daughter. The 29 year old daughter at the threshold of her career, is stressed out, overworked and believes that happiness is a thing of the future. The father, on the other hand, at the near end of his career, with a lot less to look forward to in life, believes that happiness is a thing of the past. It takes a life-changing incident for both of them to realize the importance of being happy in the now, because tomorrow might not come. The concept came to mind a year ago when I realized that my papa was growing older and I really wanted to do something for him and I wanted to spend more time with him. Around the same time I also noticed a lot of my friends around me who were losing their dads to, to death, to accidents, to sickness, to health issues, to separations and sometimes something as trivial as just having no time. And I could sense their pain and their regret from not having said the things that they wanted to say or the things that they should have said under the assumption that tomorrow would come. The snippets that you saw in the beginning of this video were part of the research that went into the scripting of Project Papa. I actually met 35 different people who were either a daughter or a father and I asked them questions about their relationship. What unfolded thereafter was absolutely magical. Post the release of this video, I've had several daughters write in to me about how Project Papa has not only given them the courage the realization, but also a platform to express what they need to say, good or bad, and that for me is my biggest motivation and my biggest driving factor. It's a really exciting year for me because this is the first time that I'm producing a film. Every day we have new people joining the team, and we now have a team of young, dynamic, fascinating people, all of whom believe in the script, the project, the concept, and the fact that this is a story that really needs to be told. I am investing a huge chunk of all my savings to make this film. However, for us to make the movie the way it deserves to be made, we do need to raise 30 lakhs. And that's why we're running this campaign on Wishberry and we really need your contribution. Now remember, Wishberry has this insanely challenging policy called the all or nothing, which basically means that if we do not reach our target amount of 30 lakhs within the 60 day deadline, then all the money goes back into your accounts and we do not get to make this film. I have full faith that we will be able to reach this target with your support. So please join us on this fascinating journey. Push for us to reach this target within the deadline and go fund Project Papa now.